Throughout this video, the narration is illustrated by historical sketches and photographs, along with scenes of kids reenacting the historical events. Over an image of the Shenandoah River, black text appears. Jump to freedom. In 1859, slavery was a popular institution in America. African Americans were bought and sold to cook, clean, and help maintain the crops. People lost family and friends to ruthless slave owners who bought and sold slaves for profit. A girl walks next to the river. It was the saddest thing that ever happened to me. My master told my sister Mary Robinson, Get your things together. I'm taking you to Richmond today. I'm going to sell you. Then off the good price. Law child, I cried. Mother and sister cried too. But that didn't help. Old Moss Robinson carried her away from here. A boy swings a gardening hoe at the ground. Husbands always went to the woods when they knew their wives were due for a whipping. Charlie Jones was a slave that had his wife working in the same field. Annie was big with child and getting near her time. So one day she made a slip and chopped a young plant down. The overseer came running up screaming at her. He beats her. It made her more nervous and she chopped off another one. Then he lifted up a rawhide and beat Annie. Charlie just stood there hearing his wife scream staring at the sky, not daring to look over at her or even say a word. He stares into the distance. There were two free African Americans who took action against this treatment. They participated in the daring raid on Harper's Ferry with John Brown. Both knew the lives of the slaves were brutal. Even though they were free, they had family and friends who were not. Their actions during the raid were brave and unselfish. According to accounts, Lewis, Sheridan, Leary was riddled to pieces in the Shenandoah River during the rape. He lived for ten more hours, and during that time, sent a message to his family, which read, Red text reads, I am ready to die. John Anthony Copeland first heard of John Brown from his uncle Lewis Leary. Copeland was an abolitionist and a person dedicated to helping fugitive slaves escape to Canada. During the raid, Copeland was captured and an angry mob tried to lynch him with a 10-second news. During the trial, Judge Parker noted he was a free Negro. He had been educated and there was a dignity about him that I could not help liking. Cleverest of all the prisoners, if I had the power and could have concluded to pardon any man among them, he was the man I would have picked out. I am dying for freedom. I could not die for a better cause. I would rather die than be a slave. These two men made a dramatic leap for freedom on that dreary October night in 1859. Now it's our turn, and this is our jump for freedom. Kids jump down from a ledge. Scrolling white text on a black background reads, Credits, cast, slave girl Robinson, Miranda Ashbaugh, pregnant slave Megan O'Neill, slave owner Zach Fisher, Charlie Jones, Kenny Myers, 10 second noosers, Helen Morrison, Kenny Myers, Zach Fisher, Miranda Ashbaugh, Cassidy Havard, Tori Baldridge. Jumpers, Helen Morrison, Kenny Myers, Zach Fisher, Miranda Ashbaugh, Cassidy Havard, Tori Baldridge, Blaine Ott, Megan O'Neill. Narrators, Blaine Ott, Zach Fisher, Helen Morrison, Cassidy Havard, Miranda Ashbaugh. Creative Directors, Writers, Helen Morrison, Cassidy Havard, Zach Fisher, Blaine Ott. Editors, Helen Morrison, Cassidy Havard, Zach Fisher, Blaine Ott. Film Crew. Blaine Ott, Helen Morrison, Nelvi Hernandez, Cassidy Havard. Resources, Library of Congress, www.loc.gov. Special thanks to HFMS, Mr. Joseph Spurgis, Mr. Jason Hoffman, Ms. Tony O'Connor, Mrs. Santa White, Harpers Ferry National Historical Park, Autumn Cook, Christy Tu, Amber Craft, Marsha Wassel, Catherine Bergaw, Dennis Fry, Journey Through Hallowed Ground, Angela Stokes, Fulmore Digital Media, LLC, Midge flynn -Yost. Special thanks to Journey Through Hallowed Ground Partnership www.hallowedground.org